city inspectors returned to a low-income housing complex on Cleveland's east side to check on the progress being made. This action follows an initial inspection of Park Place apartments back in June that resulted in dozens of violations. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more on what inspectors found. Records obtained by News 5 from the recent city inspection of Park Place Apartments here on the east side show that inspectors found 54 violations for 53 units that they surveyed. Inspectors from the health department also found mold at nearly a dozen units, but work orders suggest that progress is being made. The black and white photos show the black and white truth. Mold, a lot of it, growing around the tubs, tile, and bathroom fixtures. There were mice, too. These were the notes taken by health department inspectors in late June when they levied violations against Park Place Apartments, its Michigan-based owners and managers. Records show management then responded with work orders from pest control companies, one of them trapping mice in mass with more than 340 traps. And I'm comfortable with just being able to be a part of the demonstration to help rehab it and make sure people live in comfortable, you know. A sweat-drenched and paint-splattered Clarence Flowers was part of a team of workers recently hired by the complex to make repairs. I want them to sit and say, oh yeah, when, he, when they see me, oh yeah, he do all that. Yeah, he didn't want to fix my apartment. He didn't want to lay my carpet down. He didn't want to do my electrical. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely did. I definitely want to be a part of that. He says the goal is to fix five units a week, but tenants say repairs can't come fast enough. Things going on in our apartment that we do not like, you know, the kitchen, some of the cabinets are missing, and uh, we keep asking them to replace it. They don't want to replace it. So it's a lot of things that they have not done to nobody's apartment. City inspectors levied other violations, like missing smoke detectors and faulty plumbing. City Councilman Kevin Conwell says some issues have been fixed, others have not. Flowers has made it a point to do the best he can as quickly as he can. Like a little baby right there, I want him to grow up in a nice little community, you know what I'm saying, nice little house and stuff like that, because, you know, we all grew up in the ghetto. You know, like I said, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You know, to make the best of what you got going. Earlier this month, inspectors from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development also surveyed the dozens of units here at Park Place Apartments. However, the results of that inspection have not been made public yet. Reporting on the east side, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.